Is it going? I like that shirt. It's going. We're live. There is no fear in the dojo. Strike first, strike hard. Okay. Shidoshi. Okay. Guys, teach me grappling. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys come back someday. Tomorrow, how about that? I do a video every single day, guys. I might miss every now and then. Almost every single day I do a video. Please come back and watch. I don't always mention this. And click that link down on Patreon and donate to this channel. That way I can bring this stuff to you every single day. Today, we're gonna go to Butterfly Guard. Here we go. Okay, Butterfly Guard and John. Let's get some good angles here, like this. Okay, I wanna go for the arm drag. We already showed you guys the arm drag. I want the arm drag, I want to do this stuff, and then I want to make an angle and go to his back, okay? Lots of methods. People like to step the leg out and pull and go over here. Some people like to kick the knee, boom, they kick the knee and they take the back. I showed it like this, keeping the butterfly hook, and then once you guys are here, scooting around, keeping this tension, so try to move. I'm keeping the hook and the tension, and then I can move around his body here. I also showed how to do the lift. So we did the lift, I get to here, I shove my butt in, and I take his back like so. Now, the next situation, when I'm here, I go wrist control, arm drag. Look at my legs, I'm cheating. I'm already starting with one butterfly hook and the other one like this. I want to do a butterfly sweep. But when you guys learn the butterfly sweep, usually you learn it something like this. Either wrist control or triceps here, okay? Some people teach push it inside. Some people teach grip here. It does not matter. Sometimes he puts a hand on the mat and you swallow the elbow and the hand like so and you have an underhook. And you do this, you go to your shoulder, not your back. You load him, and then notice this left foot is here. My left foot is loaded, I can elevate, and then I fire the bullet. Sweeping him, it's up to you whether you wanna to go to the mount, do you wanna go here? Do you wanna go here? It's up to you. That's a butterfly shoot, but, Here's how the attack works. When you guys get a good butterfly sweep with an underhook, it's because your underhook is really strong. So, my underhook is here right now. If you can see where it is on the back. Now watch. I'm gonna cheat a little. I'm gonna make a move over here. I pulse my hand on the mat, and I scoop my hip. I get a nice deep grip, okay? Now I have a great position to hit a butterfly sweep and make it look good. Now, the problem is this. When you guys train, the guy's fighting you. And when you're here, you get this position. But he's sitting on his butt and you get your underhook here and you can't offset his balance. You, you, you don't have the time or the, uh, the ability to move and strengthen this underhook. He won't let you. And then, come on over here. I can't, uh, I can't get his balance off to even make him go. His base is stronger than his knees. Even though I'm here, I can't make him go and everything's hard, okay? That's one reason why I don't use this butterfly sweep that often. When do I use this? When I have a strong underhook. Now I use it. Now if he tries to balance, no, sit down. Sit, yeah, I still got his weight going and now he's in trouble. He better put his leg up because that's his only option, okay? Otherwise, he's gonna get launched. So come on back. Now, since he has good balance, I prefer this butterfly suit way more. Watch this. He's here, arm drag. He's not gonna be dumb enough for the arm drag. I try to pull his arm, he pulls his elbow back. So then what I do, this arm still pulls this one. Instead of pulling, 
I push. So by pushing with this wrist and pulling up here, I can offset his balance way better than when I attack like this. I can't pull his base. But when I go here, I double up two on one, I can do this. Now he tries to sit back in posture. See that? Now watch what I do. I, I'm close to his body and I'm gonna yank him off balance. Relax, don't lose your balance. Okay, I yank him off balance. Now, you see how he widened his knee? But it's too late. I've got weight on his right knee so he can't get his right leg up in time. My left foot is loaded and everything's the same, guys. The only difference is I still have my two on one on the, on the, the arm drag. So get around for the best view for this, John. I start my lift. Notice the lift doesn't happen with the right foot. I don't do this. You'll get countered. This will happen. Keep going. Yes. And you'll lose your hook. Keep the gun loaded. Keep the right leg loaded. It's the left leg that matters. Watch the left leg. Push the mat. Whips up. Now, follow on top. Once I follow on top, I attempt to try to go to the mount. Always try to. Later. I try to get the mount. If I can, if he holds my ankle and he won't let me, that's fine too. I might end up taking his back, try to go towards my back just to show. If he goes towards my back, like this, I still have two on one. Look at the grips, John. It's where you can see. I still got the grips. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the arm and then he tries to scoot around my body to take my back. I don't give him the arm. No, just turn around my back. Yeah, like that. Now watch my right elbow. My right elbow is going to come up like this, like I'm trying to elbow somebody behind me. And now you're not So I'll come back. Now I have an underhook for a butterfly sweep for the over under. Now my head's down. Cut my knee out to the side. And go into side control, okay? So I start here. We're hand fighting. You know, I'm, I'm always in control. Notice, I don't let him do what he wants. I start like this with one butterfly hook, and I'm here. You can back up. You can like, like, like you're giving me too much. I don't want it to look that good. Okay, so look, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna be more like this distance. He's controlling me. He's gonna be controlling my legs. It's a fight. So I go here. See how I come up? Look, with this leg here, my butt comes up. But I don't do it with my hand on the mat. I go, go here, I go to him. He thinks arm drag, because if I went, it is an arm drag, but he won't let me now. So now look, I pull him up, and now he's on top. I pushed and pulled. Now I'm ready to lift, okay? If I can lift quick enough before his right leg can post, I'm good. Sweep him through, come up on top. He tries to maneuver. If I can go to the mount, beautiful. If I cannot go to the mount and he's scooting around me, I'll control his arm. Two, see I bring the left hand up deep. My right elbow goes in, like I'm elbowing somebody behind me, and my arm pops through in between the box. Now he can't take my back, and now as he tries to maneuver, he realizes he's gonna get his guard passed. And I'm gonna come through. Okay? Um, so this is the show right here. This is the attack. Boom, right here. Every time. It, remember, if his weight goes that way, I just drag. And I can go for his back. So what he does is he, do, he I'm trying to pull him. He wants to go like this. See? The second that he, he retracts his arm, I take him in that direction. That way I get my double attack. Everything is like attacking this arm. Even if I just two on one like this, if I'm like playing here and I'm trying to like work from here, if he pulls back, he's gonna use this hand. He's gonna cross block, he's gonna free himself or hand fight him. Boom, I get the arm drag position. Now I'm ready to go. Off to the side, load him up. Okay, the only hope is he puts the right leg up. Okay, now look guys. I'll give you guys more things on the next series, but I will say this. Sometimes with this, I can still finish. Some ways I can finish, I get a little distance. I can use this foot to sweep him through. Or I can just power it. Power it with my left foot. Again, even though his right leg is up, I'll show the power of the sweep. Push the left foot into the mat and hop towards him with this foot. 
okay? Now, alternate uh, finish. I might go here, he might hold the quarter guard. He goes quarter guard, pinches, but my knee is over here. Maybe now I drag him and then sit and take the back. Okay? So you could also drag him afterward. You might do the, the, the drag. He counters drag with shifting weight. And, and no, not that way. He counters drag, he pulls. I pull him here. As I pull him, sweep, then move it through. Once I move it through, he tries to turn back to his back. I drive towards him, just give me that energy. Yeah? See how I scoot it around him. Now come around here, I already got two hooks. Always remember, if you can't get the second hook, he's balled up, you're gonna go hip escape and try to get it in. If you still can't get it in, lock your legs, connect, open him, then put it in. And then we'll finish, okay? So this combination of arm drag and butterfly sweep is something I've been using for a very long time. I'll tell you a really quick story, not too long, on uh, how I actually started doing this. I have, don't know his name, I feel really bad. Because it was like in the 90s, late 90s, like 99. I got this videotape from OTM on the mat. They used to be the ones that would have all the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tapes. And they, they must have went to Brazil or they got the footage from someone and they were selling this video. And I got a hold of it because I went to an OTM tournament um, or, or some type of tournament where they were selling stuff. And um, I got this DVD, I took it back home. I started watching it and there was a guy in the video who made the finals. I don't think he won the tournament. I don't know who it was, but uh, there were some really good guys that became famous that were back then in that tournament and they later on became like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu legends like famous guys in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And I, I can't remember his name, but he was doing this with the butterfly sweep. And I was like, it's kind of like an arm throw. Instead of the over under, like Ogoshi and Judo, like doing a hip throw, it's like he's doing Seonagi. But he's doing Seonagi with the butterfly sweep. And he never landed it, to be honest, but he attempted it every moment of the matches. All of his matches, he attempted it. And he ne it never worked, it might've worked once. But I watched it, I studied it, I went back to the gym and I showed my coach and then he was just like, keep doing it, make it work. And it's always been a big part of my game. So this is huge for me. I hope you guys can use it as well. Um, there's obviously tons of follow-ups that I'm gonna be showing you guys. So going into, we're gonna go into X-Card. You guys probably, are, a lot of you already know this, but we're gonna go into X-Card off of it. We're gonna have some other cool sweeps and some other cool attacks. So please like it, share it, subscribe and click down at the Patreon link or PayPal link and donate to this channel. And I hope you guys can get better using this move. Thank you guys so much. Teach me grappling. Thank you, Mike. Later.